Hi, good morning and welcome to Pankaj Sir's Echelon Tutorials and in this today's session we are going to uh, continue with a pending topic on uh, matrices. Okay, and this is for the IGCSE students and uh, uh, this was long back, you know, I had started with the uh, matrices and transformation in mathematics. This was the chapter matrices and transformation that I had started and I had uh, completed only exercise one from this chapter. So exercise two is uh, pending and uh, remaining exercise are also pending. So I thought of, uh, you know, continuing with this topic once again. And this is from the book by David Rayner. Okay. And I am uh, using the fourth edition. It's a old book, but uh, it's really a very good one. Okay. So this is the today's session that we are going to deal with. So IGCSE uh, in maths, we have matrices and transformation. And uh, from the David Rayner book, the fourth edition, I am going to uh, start with exercise two. Now this exercise two particularly deals with the inverse of a matrix. Okay, so in exercise one, we have completed uh, certain uh, questions on algebra of matrices. Here we are going to deal with something called inverse of a matrix. Okay, now before we actually start with exercise two, let me tell you what is uh, inverse of a matrix. Okay. So first of all, let us understand that the addition of two matrices like A plus B or a subtraction of two matrices A minus B is possible. Okay. It is possible. You can always do that. Okay. Even multiplication of a matrix by another matrix is possible. Okay. Provided certain conditions of compatibility are, uh, you know, uh, satisfied. Okay. So even multiplication is possible. Right. But if you say if you want to divide a matrix A by another matrix say B, then this is not possible. So this provision is not there for matrices. So in the algebra of matrices, you have addition and subtraction of matrices. You can multiply one matrix by another matrix, but division of one matrix by another matrix is not possible. But then when the division is not possible, what can be done? Okay, so there is something called inverse of a matrix. Inverse of a matrix is something which helps us in doing the division. Okay, so if you come across division of two matrices, suppose you have matrix A divided by matrix B. Okay, so you cannot divide directly a matrix A by a matrix B. Okay, you cannot do that. But then you can do something like this. You can take matrix A and you can multiply that by the inverse of this matrix B. Okay. That is what you can do. So instead of division, you will have to do multiplication, but by the inverse of the other matrix. Okay. So this is the concept. The concept is in the algebra of matrices, division of two matrices is not possible. I mean, there's no provision for dividing one matrix by another matrix. But instead of dividing, you can do one thing. You can take that matrix A and you can multiply by the inverse of this matrix B. This is add as good as dividing a matrix A by a matrix B. Okay. So what is this inverse of a matrix that we are going to learn in this today's session? Right. So what is inverse of a matrix? First of all, let me tell you, suppose you have a matrix A and Suppose it's a square matrix. Suppose it is A, B, C, D. This is a 2 by 2 square matrix. Right? Now, the inverse of this matrix means you have to find out, it is denoted like this, A inverse. Okay? A raised to minus 1. This is known as inverse of matrix A. Right? So, if you want to find out this inverse of a matrix A, what you have to do? What you are supposed to do? Okay, so let us go stepwise. Okay, first of all, inverse of any matrix is not possible. Okay, I mean to say that inverse of all the matrices 
may not exist. Okay, so there are certain matrices or there are certain matrix whose inverse may not be existing. It will it won't be possible to get the inverse of that matrix. Okay, so this is the first thing that you should bear in mind. Inverse of all the matrices is not possible. Okay, or may not be possible. Okay, but there are certain matrices whose inverse can exist. Okay, but certain matrices can have an inverse. Okay. Now we should be uh, interested in seeing which are the matrices which has an inverse or which is the matrix whose inverse exists. Okay. So to answer of this is number one, the matrix has to be essentially a square matrix okay so if a matrix is not a square matrix then its uh, inverse is not at all possible there will be no inverse of such a matrix existing so if a matrix has to be the matrix has to be essentially a square matrix now this is the first condition okay second condition is the determinant value of that matrix it is written in this way determinant value or I'll write that the determinant value okay of the matrix must be a non zero okay so these are the two conditions if these two conditions are satisfied then only the inverse of the matrix will exist. Now, what is the meaning of this? Suppose a matrix is a square matrix, okay, then also you cannot say the uh, inverse may exist or may not exist because only one condition is satisfied if it is a square matrix. So, if it is a square matrix, you should check for the second condition also whether it is fulfilled or not. And what is the second condition? You have to check whether the determinant of that matrix is a non zero number or not. If the determinant of that matrix is a non-zero number, okay, then the inverse of that matrix exists, okay. So these are the two conditions which you, which you should check, okay. For example, let us take a matrix like, uh, uh, for example, uh, let us take this matrix, okay. Suppose we have a matrix A equal to uh, 3 minus 4. 1 and minus 2 okay now this is a matrix which is a 2 by 2 matrix therefore it is a square matrix okay so because it is a square matrix there is a possibility that the inverse of this particular matrix may exist but then you should go and check the second condition as well what is the second condition the determinant of this matrix a is how much that you will have to check now determinant of this particular matrix is the how to find the determinant you have to multiply this that is 3 into minus 2 okay minus you have to multiply this 2 that is 1 into minus 4 and check what is this value this is known as the determinant value of a matrix so 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 minus a 1 into minus 4 is a minus 4 and this works out to a minus 6 plus 4 and this happens to be minus 2, isn't it? So, you are getting determinant of A as minus 2. That is, determinant of A is not equal to 0. Okay. Therefore, therefore, now we can say that the A inverse, okay, exists. Okay. Both the conditions are satisfied. This is condition number 1. This is condition number 2. Understood? So, this is how we have to check whether the uh, uh, matrix ka inverse is existing or not first of all. If it is not existing, there is no uh, point in uh, trying to find out. Okay, So, when there is something which is not existing only, how we are going to find out that thing? Okay, So, there is no point in even making an attempt to find the inverse of such a matrix. Okay, So, first you have to check whether the inverse of a matrix exists or not 
and these are the two things which will help you in doing that once you know that the inverse of a matrix exists then further you can find out the inverse in this way okay now this particular matrix a the determinant value is minus 2 which is a non zero number and it is a square matrix so we have come to the conclusion that a inverse exists right now because the a inverse exists we can try to find out the inverse of this a so how to find out the inverse of this a so suppose a matrix a is given and if you want to find out the inverse then the formula is a inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant of a multiplied by the adjoint of the matrix a okay this is the formula for finding the a inverse this is your a inverse okay or you can say inverse of matrix a right this is the determinant of matrix A, right? And here you should get, this is known as the adjoint of matrix A, okay? So, this is the formula which will help you in finding the inverse of a matrix. So, to find out this inverse of a matrix A, you should know the determinant value of this A and you should know the adjoint of this matrix A, okay? So, first let us try to find out the determinant of this matrix A. So, matrix A is, in our case right now, it is 3, minus 4, 1, minus 2, isn't it? This is our matrix A. It is a 2 by 2 matrix, so it is a square matrix. And determinant of this matrix is equal to 3 into minus 2, minus a 4 into minus 1, 1 into minus 4. Okay. This works out to minus 6 minus a minus 4. This works out to minus 6 plus 4. This is equal to minus 2. Got it? So, determinant is something that we got. Now, once you get this determinant, let us try to find out the adjoint of this matrix A. Now, how to find the adjoint of this matrix A? I will tell you. You have to do it in three steps. Okay? So, suppose you have a matrix A, from this matrix A, you find out the minor of the matrix A. This is minor of the matrix A. From the minor, you find out the cofactor of the matrix A. Okay, cofactor of the matrix A. From the cofactor, you find out the transpose of this matrix. Okay, so first you find out from the matrix A, you find out the matri uh, minor of this matrix. This is known as the minor. I will tell you what is this minor and all that. You find the minor of this A. Then you find out the cofactor. This C is stand stands for cofactor. So then you find out the cofactor. And lastly, you have to find out the adjoint. Okay. Adjoint of the matrix A. Right. So, how to find out this minor cofactor and adjoint that I will explain you. Now suppose you have a matrix A. Now we'll take our this example only. So the you have a matrix A 3 minus 4 1 and minus 2. Okay this is our matrix A. Now if you want to find out the minor of this matrix what you have to do is I'll tell you what you have to do. Okay. Suppose to find out the minor you know now I will write here, minor of the matrix A will be what? If it is a 2 by 2 matrix, the minor will also be 2 by 2. That means it will also have 4 elements, okay? So these are those 4 elements, right? Now for the minor of a matrix A, the first element, this one, okay? If you want to find out this element, what you have to do is, you have to take this first element of this A, that is 3, and draw a horizontal line and a vertical line okay from this point from this first element 3 you draw a horizontal line and draw a vertical line on doing that you will get a minus 4 over here and you will get a 1 over here okay now what is left this minus 2 is left so that you pick up and place it over here so this is minus 2 so of the so in the minor of a matrix a the first element will be minus 2 okay now you want to find out the uh, second element of this minor uh, A. 
Okay, so for that, what you'll have to do? Now take this minus 4 and again take a horizontal line and a vertical line. Okay, from minus 4, you take a horizontal and a vertical line. Now, if you take a horizontal line, this minus 4 will uh, go across 3. And if you take the vertical line, this minus 4 will go across minus 2. So, this 3 and minus 2 will be cut. Okay. Now, what is left behind? This 1 is left here. So, pick up that 1. So, that will be kept over here. Got it? Now, this element you want to replace. Okay. In the minor. So, for the A matrix, one, this element 1, you want to replace by the minor. Okay. So, what you have to do? Again, you have to take horizontal and vertical okay so if you take horizontal and vertical what is left out minus 4 so that you have to write here minus 4 same way for minus 2 you have to take this horizontal and vertical so you left out with 3 so that will be written over here this is how you have to find out the minor of a matrix so minor of a matrix a is minus 2 1 minus 4 3 got it so from a how to get minor A that I have explained you. Now, to get the cofactor of A, you have to proceed from this minor A only. So, cofactor A will be what? Now, cofactor A, if you want to find out cofactor A, now cofactor A will also be 2 by 2 matrix, okay? So, the order is not going to change throughout, right? Now, from the minor only, you will get the cofactor, okay? So, go to the minor matrix. Minor matrix may this is this minus 2 is your element number a11 isn't it first row first column first row first column that is a11 now this 1 plus 1 is 2 right this 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 which is an even number so in that position where the sum of the row and the matrix number that is 1 and 1 if that sum is a even number then you just uh, uh, copy paste that element in the cofactor. So minus 2, you copy paste same to same, minus 2 only over here. Okay. Now go for this second element. Now this second element 1. Now what is the position of this second element? It is A, 1, 2. Okay. First row, second column. This is the first row and this is the second column. Right. So first row, second column. A, 1, 2. Now, if you add this row and column number, you will get 1 plus 2, which is equal to 3. And 3 is an odd number. So, on adding the row and the column number, if you get an odd number, then what you have to do is, you have to copy paste this element, but you have to change the sign. So, take this one and place it over here, but change its sign. It is plus 1, so make it minus 1. Okay. Same way, go for this minus 4. Now, minus 4 is a element of the minor matrix A. Okay. If you want to find out the corresponding element of the cofactor, what you will do is, now minus 4, the position is A21. Second row, first column. See, this minus 4 belongs to second row, first column. So, 2, 1. Now, we are again 2 plus 1. If you add, you are getting a 3, which is an odd number. So, what you have to do is, you have to take this minus 4, but change the sign so it will be plus 4 and for this 3 the position is a 2 2 and 2 plus 2 is 4 which is an even number so just uh, copy paste the same number 3 over here this is how you get a cofactor now you have got the cofactor of this a so see we started from a from a we found out the minor of the matrix a from the minor of the matrix a only we found out the cofactor of the matrix A and lastly when you find the when you do the transpose of this cofactor okay transpose is what transpose means the row should be converted into column okay so first row you have to write as first column and second row you have to write as second column that is known as transpose so when you do that when you do transpose you will get the adjoint of the so I can write here adjoint of the A will be equal to this adjoint you will get from the cofactor. So the row, row is minus 2 minus 1 for the cofactor. So that you convert it into column. You write it this row as a column. Then you take the second row and write it as a column. Now when you do this, what you get 
this is the adjoint okay so from the matrix a you have to first convert it into the minor matrix from the minor you have to convert it into cofactor from the cofactor you have to convert it into the adjoint of a matrix and ultimately you will get the adjoint of the matrix for this a as this one got it now we wanted to find out a inverse and the formula was 1 upon determinant of a times the adjoint of the matrix a isn't it this was the formula now see because we have found out both the things 1 upon determinant of a was minus 2 so i'll write here minus 2 in place of determinant of a multiplied by adjoint of a now adjoint of a is this one so minus 2 4 minus 1 3. so this happens to be my uh, a inverse now if you want you can take this scalar quantity and convert it into a single matrix okay you can multiply this scalar quantity with each and every element so what you will get is minus 2 into 1 by minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 will be cut so you'll get 1 over here then 4 into minus 1 by 2 you will get minus 2 then minus 1 into this okay you'll get uh, what you'll get 1 by 2 and here you should get minus 3 by 2 so this is your answer okay a inverse will be equal to this okay this is how you are supposed to find out the inverse of a matrix is that understood okay now we are i will show you one shortcut method of finding the adjoint of a matrix a suppose you have a matrix a b c d this is a square matrix which is a 2 by 2 square matrix okay if you want to find out the adjoint okay the shortcut method is you swipe these two elements okay you swipe it interchange the position so it will become d and a right then what you do is you change the sign of these two elements and write it in the same place so you write this as minus b write this as minus a so whatever matrix you get this is the adjoint now this is the shortcut method this you are not uh, you know uh, supposed to uh, you know write the answer in this way okay but if uh, you are doing uh, uh, you know a lot of problems and uh, if you want to avoid the steps you know you can directly find out the adjoint of a matrix in this way okay so for example our original matrix in this previous question was 3 minus 4 1 and minus 2 isn't it so adjoint of this by shortcut method should be what swipe these two positions okay this and this so here i'll get a minus two here i'll get a three and these two elements i have to just change the sign so minus four i'll write it as plus four and one i'll write as minus one okay. so this is my actual of this matrix a so if this is a this will be my adjoint of a got it now see here somewhere in the formula we use this adjoint also this adjoint of the matrix was this isn't it now can you see the adjoint is uh, uh, this one okay. not this one sorry okay adjoint was this one right minus two four minus one three minus 2 4 minus 1 3 got it so i suppose that i have explained you everything about this uh, uh, inverse of a matrix the concept i have explained you how to find out the inverse of a matrix that i have explained you and now we can start with exercise 2 and uh, a couple of questions because time permits me to do that so i'll start with some questions and uh, let us see how far we can reach and in the next video we can continue so let us start with exercise 2 and this is on uh, page number 310 okay, of my book david renner fourth edition right so exercise 2 may the there are some question number 1 to 15 okay in these questions you have to find the inverse of the given matrix okay so whatever matrix is given 
we have to find out the inverse of it right so let us start with question number one now the matrix given is now see matrices can be written, can be denoted by this uh, a huge uh, round bracket also okay uh, four one three and one now this is that matrix and they have asked you to find out the inverse of this so first the solution of this is let a equal to four one three one okay this is the matrix a now to find the inverse what i'll do first i'll find out the determinant and i'll check first of all i'll check whether the inverse exists or not so determinant of this matrix a will be 4 times 1 minus 3 times 1 this gives me 4 minus 3 which is equal to 1 so this is a non zero number so you can write since determinant of a is not equal to 0 therefore inverse of the a exist okay now the formula for because the inverse of this a exists so we'll go and find out the inverse so a inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant of a which we have found out here it is 1 multiplied by the adjoint of this a okay so we know what is the determinant of this a matrix a we have just found out it is 1 now let us find out the adjoint of this a so to find the adjoint of this a i'll start with a matrix a is 4 1 3 1 now let me find out the minor okay minor of this a so to find out the minor what i will do is to replace this 4 by a minor i'll draw this horizontal line and the vertical line from this 4 okay this way what is left one so that one i am going to write here okay now in place of this one in the minor matrix what i'll do i'll take horizontal and vertical again so i'll take this horizontal and this vertical what is left three so that i will write here okay and for this three i'll take this and this so i'm left with one for this one i'll take this and this so i'm left with four this is my minor matrix from minor if I want to find out the cofactor of this matrix A, okay, after minor you have to find out cofactor. So in cofactor, what you have to do, this is position A11, A12, this is A21, and this is A22. Okay. So wherever the uh, uh, the column and the uh, row number, okay, on addition, if the column and the row number when you add, if you get it a odd number. There you have to change the sign and if you get an even number, then you have to just uh, copy paste the element. So here 1 plus 1 is 2 which is an even number, so copy paste the element. Here 1 plus 2 is 3, so make it minus 3. Here 2 plus 1 is 3, so again you take make it minus 1. And 2 plus 2 is 4, so make it, let it be 4 only. So this is my cofactor. Now, this will give me the adjoint. Okay adjoint of the a the last step may i will get the adjoint so cofactor matrix i will make the transpose of it transpose is what the row you have to write it as column so this row is 1 minus 3 i will write it as column 1 and minus 3 then second row is minus 1 4 i will write it as a column minus 1 4 this is my adjoint now using this formula a inverse will be equal to 1 upon determinant of a is 1 times adjoint of a is 1 minus 1 minus 3 and a 4 right this can be written as 1 upon 1 is 1 only and when this scalar quantity is multiplied with this vector matrix i mean this matrix each and every element you have to multiply so 1 into 1 will be 1 1 into minus 1 will be minus 1 in fact this will be the same matrix okay now this is my a inverse got it so question number one ka answer you got as one minus one minus three and four now let me check out the answer behind so that you know if it is uh, correct we can proceed right so the answer behind is uh, given as um, one second huh? yeah 
uh, it is 1 minus 1 minus 3 and a 4 yeah so it is correct okay so this is the answer for the first question right so exercise 2 we have started with let us do some more questions quickly and uh, wind up this today's session so question number 2 is you have to find the inverse of this one it's 1 2 2 and 5 okay so the solution will be let b be equal to you can take any letter okay let b be equal to 1 2 2 5 okay now you have to find out b inverse okay so determinant of b is how much that you first find out so this will be 2 5 into 1 is 5 minus 2 into 2 is 4 5 minus 4 is 1 so i am getting determinant of b as 1 which is a non zero so inverse will exist now let me find out the adjoint of the b to find the adjoint of a b i'll start from b itself 1 2 2 5 from this i'll first find out the minor of this b minor of the b will be 5 and uh, this will be 2 and this will be 2 and this will be 1 okay then i'll find out the cofactor of this b cofactor may what i'll do wherever there is a even number you know the addition of the column and the row number is even there i will uh, you know copy paste the same number same element and wherever the sum is odd there i'll change the sign so here it is one one so it is even so i'll just copy paste here it is odd so i'll make it minus two here it is again even so i'll let it be two and here it is uh, no here it is odd okay so i'll make it minus two and here it is even okay so i'll let it remain one so this is my adjoint okay now b inverse will be equal to one upon determinant of b times adjoint of b matrix this will give me one upon determinant of b is one right so one upon one times what is this adjoint of b it is five minus two minus two and a one now if i take this inside okay with each and every element, I will have to multiply this one. So, I will get 5 minus 2, minus 2 and a 1. So, this is my B inverse. Got it? So, let us check the answer behind. And the answer for this question number 2 is 5 minus 2, minus 2 and a 1. Okay? That's perfect. Alright? Let us go for question number 3. Now, question number 3 is... Uh, 3, 4, 1 and a 2. Okay. So, solution for this is let your A be 3, 4, 1 and 2. Okay. So, determinant of A will be how much? It will be 3, 2 is a 6 minus 4, 1 is a 4, which is equal to 2. Now, because this is a non zero number, therefore A inverse exists. Okay. Now, to find out A inverse, you need the adjoint of this. Now, this time, the adjoint of this A, adjoint of this A, I am going to find out by a shortcut method. So, what is the shortcut method? In the matrix A, you swipe these two elements, okay? So, if I swipe it, this will be 2 over here and 3 over here, okay? And the remaining two elements, you don't swipe them, you just change the sign. So, 4 ka, I will make it minus 4. And this one ka, I'll make it minus one. So this is my adjoint of the matrix A. Okay, this is my shortcut method I did it. Now to find out A inverse, the formula is one upon determinant of A times adjoint of A, isn't it? Which is equal to one upon determinant of A is two. So one upon two multiplied by adjoint is this one. So it will be two minus four minus one and a three. Now, if I take this 1 by 2 inside, okay, if I multiply, this is known as scalar multiplication, okay. So, scalar multiplying, multiplied by a matrix is, you have to multiply that scalar with each and every element of the matrix. So, 1 by 2 into 2 will be 1, 1 by 2 into minus 4 will be minus 2, this will be minus 1 by 2 and this will be 3 by 2, okay. So, this is your inverse of the matrix A, okay. So, let us check the answer for 3 and the answer for question number 3 behind is uh, uh, 
is uh, 1 by 2 outside the answer is given in this form okay behind so 1 by 2 times the the uh, adjoint matrix is 2 minus 4 minus 1 and 3 okay so this is correct even this is correct even this is correct okay so you can write the answer in either way right so that was question number three of exercise two and today's lecture i'm going to wind up here and here itself and from question number four onwards i'll be starting i'll be doing it in the next video till then goodbye see you all of you take care